I think it's really interesting how over the last several years, one of the things that has become really important to a lot of smartphone users is how well their smartphone of choice synergizes with their other pieces of hardware. I think that we can thank Apple in large part for this phenomenon, right? The way that the iPhone interacts with other Mac, other Apple devices is really impressive. And we are seeing other OEMs like Google and Microsoft pursue this same sort of thing and perhaps even push it in, in some ways, even further than Apple has. You guys know that I have long been a proponent of Chrome OS and I really enjoy this phone hub feature that they rolled out quite some time ago where, as you can see here, you can turn on your hotspot to your phone that is connected to this. So it's just a one click thing. You're out and about your phone and your laptop are with you. You can open up your laptop, click on that button and you are now tethered to your Chromebook just like that, really, really nice. Locate your phone, silence your phone. You can see your phone's information, the battery level, see your recent Chrome tabs, recent photos. Unfortunately, this bit has glitched out on me this morning and I thought I fixed this with a, a setting on my router and evidently I have not, but you can stream applications directly from your phone. So rather than just installing the application on your Chromebook, which of course it does run Android apps and you can do that, you can literally run the same instance from your phone to your Chromebook. Google has done a lot of really, really interesting stuff on this front. But let's not forget about Microsoft because they've had the phone link application for quite some time and today's news story indicates they're not slowing down with that integration. In fact, they're going to be taking it even further than they have before. And it's something that if I'm being honest, makes me kind of excited. So looking at this article here on Windows Central, Microsoft unveils major Windows 11 start menu upgrade, integrates phone link messages and notifications. If we scroll down here, we do just have an image and I'll link to this article down below, but this is the big thing about this, okay? This is the primary thing that we need to be talking about. This is the Windows 11 start menu. And what we have here is slid over just to the side. And I, I think this is a fairly clean look, if I'm being honest here. We have a phone link integration. You have your phone, your battery level, Bluetooth, you have your messages, calls, you have photos, and recent contacts all right there next to your start menu. Super, super easily accessible. Now, before I say any more, I do want to point out that this is something that is in the Insider Beta channel. So if you're using phone link and you're like, I don't see this, whereas it is something that you probably won't see yet, we'll see for a while until it comes out of beta. Now, just in case you're not already super familiar with phone link and what it can do with your Windows PC, let me show you quickly a handful of things that it can already do that I think are really impressive. So the first thing here, which is blurred out, as you can see, is my list of text messages. In fact, I can click on them. I can send text messages, receive messages, anything I want to do. The only big caveat that I will give here, the big problem with this is it is not compatible with RCS and what Google is doing with their Chromebooks is. I'm an RCS user, and so that is a little bit annoying when I'm messaging someone like my wife who was also an, an RCS user. That is definitely a little bit annoying, but it still does get the job done. Up here at the top, you can actually take phone calls. Now, your computer is going to need to have Bluetooth, but it's going to be able to send and receive phone calls. I'm going to skip apps for just a second. If you jump over to photos, what you'll be able to see is the photos that are actually directly on your phone. And one cool thing here, if I click on this, I should be able to click this button and run OCR to copy the text that is in this image. Oops, just accidentally clicked on an arrow. Let's try that again. There you go. So now I should be able to select text that is in this image. It's a really nice quality of life feature. But I said I was going to skip the apps thing. Let's go back to that. And what we have here is the ability to stream applications. Just like I talked about with Chrome OS, that same thing is functional here. Let's just open up threads. And what's going to happen is it's going to pop up in this floating window. I'm going to have to give it permission on my phone itself. Once I click start now, though, there it is. It is loaded up and there is my application threads. Again, streaming directly from my phone. You can see here, it's got this little screen on there that basically says linked windows is doing its thing. To use your device, swipe the screen or press the power button. So if I swipe the screen, we've unlocked and now there is threads running. Now that's one kind of annoying thing is that when you're streaming the app, your phone is just doing the thing, right? So you can't like use your phone for something different, but I don't know, that's not like a huge problem for me. I need to unlock my device because I just instinctually 
locked it. But you can see that does work really, really well. And in fact, you can also just open the phone screen itself by clicking this or this up here, and that is going to just fire up your phone's screen in general. And then you can go home and you can do whatever you want to do on your phone. You can also pin applications. So let's say you're doing this sort of thing a lot and you just really like using TikTok where you can put TikTok up there in a nice, easy to reach location. Obviously, as they come in, your notifications are going to show up right there. I mean, I don't need to dig in a whole lot deeper than that, but there is one more really cool thing that I would be remiss if I did not show you. If we jump into our settings and then we go down to features, you have cross device copy and paste. If you turn that on, it's going to do exactly what it sounds like it's going to do. If I copy text on my PC, that text will be copied on the phone that is linked with Windows. If I copy it here, it's going to copy back on my Windows computer. That is extraordinarily useful. In fact, it's something that we do not have on Chrome OS for some strange reason. Google has not done that. So again, Microsoft is continuing to roll out more features for phone link to link your Windows computer to Android. For those of you who are perhaps questioning Microsoft's commitment to Android as the mobile operating system of their choice after Surface Duo and Duo 2 was sort of unceremoniously forgotten about, which totally reasonable to question their commitment at that point. They're not even making a phone right now. They are still clearly committed to using Android as the de facto OS mobile use wise for people who do use Windows. And I think that makes sense. It's like process of elimination, right? Like it's definitely not iOS, so it's got to be Android. They feel like there has to be synergy between your computer, your laptop and your mobile device. So this was the only direction to go and they are pursuing it fairly well. In the spirit of continuing to add things, though, I do want to give like one small critique here. I know that there's limited space, but it would be really cool if when you clicked messages, if it like opened up and pushed calls and photos way down to the bottom, pushed your contacts completely off the screen, and it just gave you like a list of your text messages. You could then click one and then see that message thread right there and actually do your responding to people, do your texting right there in the start menu. As it currently stands, what I would assume is gonna happen is you click on messages, it's just gonna fire up phone link and you're gonna do everything from there. It's basically just a shortcut and there's nothing wrong with that. But if we're gonna be packing things into the start menu, it would be really cool if you could do this stuff literally without leaving the start menu. But guys, wrapping up here, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this stuff? Are you using Chrome OS and Phone Hub? Are you using Windows and Phone Link? Maybe you've just installed messages for web, Google's, you know, Google messaging uh, thing as a PWA on your computer. Maybe that's all you need is text messaging. So you've gone that route. That's definitely something I've done a whole bunch of times. You can actually see on my computer, on my taskbar right now, that that is exactly what I have going on as well, because it's easy to swap from phone to phone. And I swap from phone to phone a lot, but I want to hear from you guys. What are you using? What do you think about this stuff? Drop a comment down below. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.